Peacemaker on HBO Max has been a fun ride so far, and I didn't expect to enjoy it. How can I enjoy a show about the guy who killed Rick Flagg? Well, James Gunn, you've presently surprised me. Peacemaker's famous quote is, I cherish peace with all my heart. I don't care how many men, women, or children I need to kill to get it. That quote made me think, can we have peace without war? Is it even possible? And how can we use that knowledge to help bring peace to our internal struggles? Welcome to Inner Warrior, where I help pop culture fans with tips and tools to unleash their inner warrior and achieve their goals. Peacemaker says he loves peace. His name is Peacemaker for God's sake. But he's way more violent than other heroes, so how can he say he loves peace? It seems it's the idea of peace that he loves. He's forged himself into a weapon to try to inch the world closer to peace any way he can. But does peace require such a violent touch? Can we settle problems without war and violence? Unfortunately, it appears, as throughout history, that even if we like to settle problems without violence, not everyone will comply. Just look at the League of Nations, which were meant to keep the peace after World War I and prevent another world war. The League was supposed to settle disagreements between nations through talks, but the League itself did not have an army and relied on its members to enforce their ideas and resolutions. The US didn't even join the League because they didn't want to get caught up in Europe's disputes. Each member also had their own goals. The League blamed Germany for the reason the war started and told them to pay everyone for the war. This eventually led to Germany becoming aggressive, allowed Hitler to gain power, and caused World War II. Then, when Italy invaded present-day Ethiopia, the League had a hard time getting together a proper response, placing limited economic sanctions on them that only caused Italy to be like, nah, I ain't dealing with this, and ally themselves with Germany. So, the League of Nations failed to stop another world war, as World War II happened 20 years after the League was formed. So why are we currently at 77 years without any world war? Because we fear the apocalypse. We fear a nuclear war. So, Peacemaker's violence as an attempt to keep the peace is not entirely without merit. The fear of violence in the case of a full nuclear destruction of the world is what is currently keeping the peace. Just look at the Cold War. That could have become another world war, but instead the US and the Soviet Union instead decided to use all sorts of other ways to battle each other through proxy wars, spies, and propaganda. Fear of violence is also what keeps people from invading, overtaking governments, and just general chaos. Imagine if you just punched, kicked, and shot everyone you wanted to when you were uncontrollably angry and emotional. Would you still be alive today? The fear of death and violence prevents us from doing stupid things. What does that mean for us internally? Before we get into that, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and be an inner warrior with us. We have internal wars every day, between our shadow self and our inner warrior. We want to make more money by charging more for our services but our shadow wants us to stay in the comfort zone. We want to ask someone out on a date, but our shadow would rather avoid us being rejected. We want to spend some time learning a highly valued skill, but our shadow would rather have us playing video games or binging shows so we don't have to struggle learning. Those internal wars result in negative emotions, anxiety, depression, and a feeling of going nowhere. How do we keep the peace there? We can use Peacemaker's violence, or fear of it, for internal peace. How? Well, our shadow is part of ourselves and can't die. So when we say fear of violence, what we mean here is a fear of emotional turmoil. As mentioned in my previous video, the cards of the video will be at the top right over there. We can talk to our inner shadow and ask if they really want to deal with the emotional turmoil, getting nowhere, or if our shadow would rather work with us and achieve our task or goal. Have you watched Peacemaker yet? Do you enjoy it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you want to learn how powerful our minds are and how we can use them to achieve our goals, click here. Or click here if you want to see how we can outwit the devil and the fear and indecisions we face internally.